Aloha and welcome to St. Teresa Church as we celebrate the most holy body and blood of Christ. Aloha to all and special welcome back to those who are here for the first time since our opening. We are happy to have you here at this celebration and invite all of you to join together in song and prayer. Mahalo for your patience and observing the protocols that are in place that allow us to celebrate the Eucharist as a community. We realize it feels a bit strange to sit in unfamiliar sections, not being able to sit with friends, so we appreciate your understanding. As we prepare for our celebration, please silence all cellular phones. Reminder about communion. Single line, and our lovely usher will indicate to you, for you to leave your pew, six feet social distancing, and it's marked on the floor for you. Step to the side to remove your mask. Oh, wait, keep mask and receive, Euchar and receive the Eucharist in your hand. Step to the side to remove your mask, consume the host, and replace mask and return to your seat. And now, please let us recite together the diocesan prayer for vocations, which may be found in the back inside cover of the worship aid. Heavenly Father, your divine sign taught us to pray for the Lord, the harvest, send laborers into his vineyard, we earnestly beg you to bless our diocese and our world with many priests, deacons, and religious who will love you fervently and gladly and courageously spend their lives in service to your son's church, especially the poor and the needy. Bless our families and our children and choose from our homes those whom you desire for this holy work. Teach them to respond generously and keep them ever faithful, following your sons, Jesus Christ, that under the guidance of the Holy Spirit and with the intercession and inspiration of Saint Damien and Saint Marian, the good news of redemption may be brought to us all. You ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stand. Here in this time, here in this place, here we are standing face to face. For the broken, here for the strong, here in this temple we belong, here in our hearts, here in our lives, our God is here. Eucharistic feast 
Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus our brother, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. As we gather on this most solemn feast, last week we celebrated the Trinity, Father, Son, and Spirit, gifts of love. And it's a kind of a follow-up to that, that the feast of today comes to us a gift of love, a gift of self. The body and blood of our Lord becomes for us a gift, and we come to say thank you. Oh God, Lord Jesus, you are the living bread sent down from heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, in the Eucharist, you unite us in your spirit in one body. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, in your body and blood, you offer us food and drink for everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us for our sins and failings, and bring all of us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Our God fills us with his life, his love. Let us give glory to God in the highest.
Let us pray. Well, God, we gather on this day to celebrate the wonderful sacrament of the Eucharist, the body and blood of Christ. He left us a, memo a memorial of his passion, and we pray that we will always revere the sacred mystery of his body and blood that we will always experience in ourselves the fruits of the redemption that he has gained for us. We pray in the name of our brother Jesus, in whose name we always gather. Jesus, who lives and reigns with you, God the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for 40 years now the Lord your God has directed all your journeying in the desert so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger and then fed you with the manna, a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with its seraph serpents and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water to you from the flint, from the flint tree rock and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, We, though many, are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. day comes to us from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews began to quarrel among themselves. They were saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. I will raise them up on the last day. My flesh is true food. My blood is true drink. 
Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me and I have life because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate their manna bread from heaven and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We come realizing that John wrote his gospel about 40 years after all the other evangelists had completed their gospels. And it's important for us to remember that because he's used to the pattern of Eucharist. He takes it almost for granted. And he's saying to people, unless you start to really get serious about coming to these Eucharists, these gatherings, these communal meals, Unless you really take that seriously, you will not have life in you. You will, like your ancestors who ate the manna in the desert and died, you will, you will die too. The only way to have eternal life, and John, is, John was a, a mystical teacher. It's always hard for us when we get the Gospel of John thrown at us <laughs> almost every time. And, and we try and make, because he's, he's almost a, a, a poet, he's almost a, a visionary, and he's a, he's a marvelous theologian, but very hard to understand sometimes because he uses language in a way that shifts from the immediate to the symbolic. Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life within you. Now remember, John is writing this, putting these words in the mouth of Jesus, saying what he believes to be true. And he does believe it. He really does. He repeats it, I don't know how many times, as you get to this part of John's gospel. Keeps hammering away at it. And he says to us something that we just kind of take for granted, that Eucharist is important. It is essential. It is something that should really be part of our life, to be nourished at the table of the Word and to be nourished at the table of the Eucharist. You know, not by bread alone does man live, Deuteronomy says, not by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And we gather this afternoon, and what we really have to hear coming from the mouth, not of John, but the mouth of God, is this exchange. Here, take this. That's a gift. Take this. Here, here, I give myself to you. Here, take this. Come on, I, I offer you myself. What more can I offer? My body and my blood. What more can I offer you? Here, take it. I give it to you. What an amazing <laughs> thing. And we, kind of sometimes we're, you know, we're not tracking. I don't know what we're doing. We just kind of, especially, with, well, now that we have masks and we're doing all this stuff about distance, we're, this is so different. Maybe we have to think now. <laughs> but we sometimes we just go, body of Christ, amen. <laughs> you know, like, the body and blood of Christ, amen. Oh, thank you for this gift. So today, that's what we gather for. We gather to remember and to give thanks. We gather to say to the Lord, forgive us. And we know that you do. That's another part of it. Because part of the feeding is the absolving, the washing away. That's one of your gifts too. I am not going to hold that against you. 
That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to see you thrive. I'm here to see you live. There's some ad on TV about some investment company that wants you to thrive. <laughs> they don't want you to just get by. They want you to thrive. And they picked up on that word. Because deep down in our hearts, we don't want to just kind of bumble along. We would love to thrive. We would love to be fully alive. Fully alive. And the Lord says to us, you can be. You will be. Maybe not in this world, but you will be fully alive. I will be in you. You will be in me. We will be one completely. And I'm going to give you a sign of that. And this is what this is. This is a sign. You know? It's an important reminder to us. I don't want to wait until that moment when you cross over. I want you to do this now, here. Because I mean it. Take, take. Take and eat. Take and drink. It's not just by this bread alone. It's by what's behind it. I love you. That's what's important. Not by bread alone do we live but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And we're gathered this afternoon to remember those are the words that come from the mouth of God. I love you. And I am very willing, and I was willing, and I would, I give my life for you so that you can live forever. Okay, we are just so blessed. We gather to give thanks to this God who loves us beyond all our imagining. The God who never gives up on us. Even though sometimes we just act like we, we forget, we don't pay attention, you know, we're not focused, we're doing our own thing, we're not listening, and he still loves us. And this is the moment when the church gathers to remember and to kind of regather, to recollect to recollect, to remember, you know, to come together to say, oops, you know, maybe this week I've forgotten, I have, you know, got all this stuff going on, trying to you know, take care of everything. Watch the Dow market go up and down and watch all this stuff on television, you know. Watch lives being taken either through violence or through illness. There's just so much going on. And the one constant in all of that is these words. If we've got to be able to hear those words underneath us, hey, don't ever forget, I love you. And if you should forget during the week, if you should get distracted, if you should kind of drift off, then for God's sake, for your sake, come and hear how I love you. Come and be reminded that this is for you. Take and eat. This is my body given for you. We are so blessed. Let's give thanks. Before we profess our creed, we have some folks who are extraordinarily <laughs> impacted by this uh, pandemic. We have are, we were supposed to have them baptized at Easter, <laughs> and we couldn't have that at Easter. We were shut down. And uh, we're still trying to figure out how and when we can get them uh, to that final moment of baptism to have somehow the water poured on them, to hear those words, you know, be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we want to pray for them. We always pray for them. We haven't been able to pray for them because we haven't been in here. So now we're here. And we want to pray for them. And I want to call them forward. Lee, Hang, Ben. Is Ben here? Oh, Ben, there you are. I'm sorry. I didn't see you. And Ashley and Kelani are going to be somewhere else. Oh, here. You're with Ben. No. Oh, Ashley, okay. And uh, Kailani? Okay, all right. 
Okay. These are the members who have been worshiping with us, who have been coming, who have been attracted, who have listened to the Word of God, and they want to eat the bread of life. They want to celebrate the Eucharist. They want to participate fully. And we come to pray for them that this will indeed happen very soon. Almighty God, keep. when we're here together, we send these good people, our elect, beyond catechumens, our elect. We send them forth to reflect on your word. And we come again to remind them that we do want to support them, even though we don't see them that often, that we do want to support them as they await the sharing at the Eucharistic table. They have heard the scripture today about sharing your body and blood, and it just stirs up a greater desire in them, hopefully in us as well. May the Eucharist continue the hope of participating fully in the Eucharist, continue to sustain you on your faith journey. And now, we pray that you will go forth remembering this word that you have heard. to have them baptized. And they will again profess what we profess all the time, the creed. And we stand together now in anticipation of that moment when they will be praying this prayer with us. And so we pray, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And as we stand gathered and united in prayer, let us turn and ask, our Father, through our petitions and our intercessions, that he continue to pour out his mercy upon us. For the whole Church, that our participation in the Eucharist may strengthen our unity and our desire to build a human community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a new and fresh dialogue in our country, 
that nourishes all people, regardless of race, creed, color, age, or gender. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are unemployed and need to feed their families, especially here in our community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all Christians, may, may, may we all one day be gathered together at the table of the Lord and become one in the Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For Catholics throughout the world who go without the Eucharist due to oppression or lack of vocations, may they be fed spiritually by the Lord himself. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all in our midst who are suffering, fearful or discouraged, especially the sick and the dying, and for those who have died, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And gracious God, we stand before you, and on this day, the church remembers St. Anthony of Padua, the patron of our church in Wailuku. And we think of our brothers and sisters there who are worshiping under similar conditions as us, trying to celebrate their feast day in the midst of all these difficulties, but still celebrating. And we keep them in mind as well as people who struggle in the midst of these times. For all of them, the people, the staff, the clergy, all the people at St. Anthony, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, as we stand before you tonight, we come trusting that indeed you want us to live. You want us to live forever. You don't want us to fade away, not to be nourished. And so we thank you and beg you to continue, especially when we're not listening, when we're not looking, when we're not thinking. Help us, Lord, because of your great unfailing love. We make our prayer in the name of the one you sent to show us the extent of your love, the depth of your love, Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen.
source of our salvation we find new life in you My sisters and brothers, our simple gifts of bread and wine are placed on our table now. Pray. Pray that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the, May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, grant that we, your church, may always be filled with your gifts of unity and peace. May the signs of your love present here, seen in mystery, be seen in the offerings, the love in our hearts, in the gifts that we present. We make these prayers always in the name of our brother Jesus, the one who unites us, Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, always giving thanks through Christ our Lord. For he is the one who instituted the pattern of this everlasting sacrifice. He was the first to offer himself as a victim, saving victim. And he commanded us to make this offering as a memorial of his love and your love. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink the blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. Now we gather and we join with the angels, the saints, the whole company of heaven, together with all of them. We now sing without end the hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Gracious God, we sing our hosannas and we praise you always for you are holy indeed. You are the fount of all life and holiness. And so we come to you now and pray that you would make holy these gifts by sending down upon them the power of your spirit so that they may become for us the body and blood of your son, our Lord Jesus Christ in whom we have become your own daughters 
and sons. We remember that it was on the night of the Last Supper when he was be before he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion and death on the cross. While he was at table with his disciples, he took bread. He gave you thanks, Father. And then he gave the bread to his disciples, broke it and said to them, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. And in a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine once more. He gave you thanks, Father, and then he gave the chalice to his disciples, and he said, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death. Father, we celebrate now the memorial of Christ's death and resurrection, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. And we give thanks that you have chosen to hold us worthy to be in your presence, that you have called us to partake of the sacrifice of your Son. You have called us to minister to one another with the same love that he has shown to us. We humbly pray that by partaking now of the body and blood of Jesus, that we may be gathered into one by his Holy Spirit. Please, Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and help all of us to grow in faith, in hope, and in charity. We pray for our Pope Francis, our Bishop Larry, all our bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and your entire people. And we pray also for our beloved departed, those who have already gone before us, those who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them all into the light of your face. Oh God. We pray that you would continue to pour out your mercy upon us so that one day we too may stand in the halls of heaven with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her husband, John the Baptist, the Apostles, the Evangelists, the Martyrs, Anthony of Padua, our patroness, St. Teresa, St. Damien, St. Mary, and all the holy women and men who have pleased you throughout the ages. Together with all of them, May we, too, be heirs to eternal life. May we, too, praise and glorify you forever through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Amen.
before we come to take and eat, to take and drink, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. And graciously grant peace in our day. By the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the final coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant to all of us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and let us share that prayer with a sign of greeting to one another in peace. it is with the eyes of faith that we behold the Lamb of God. We behold him who takes away the sins of the world and blessed, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be
Lord Jesus Christ, in this time of communion, once again we want to thank you. You're always giving, always giving, giving of yourself for us. And we know that in return, you really expect nothing in return except that we learn from you. We learn how to be meek and humble of heart. We learn how to give of ourselves the best way that we can really show how we love and honor and appreciate you is by doing what you have done through us for others. Help us, Lord, find the way. Teach us, guide us, lead us. This day, every day. We pray now and always in your name, Jesus. You who are Lord forever and ever. 
Amen. The Lord is with you. Do we have no announcements? But we do have. Aloha again, everyone. Please check your email for the link to Eventbrite so that you may get your ticket for Mass next week. You may also call the business office to reserve your seat. This Friday, June 19th at 7 a.m., Mass will, we will celebrate the solemn, solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus. You are most welcome to come to this special Mass. Again, we especially thank you for your patience through these times. And once again, we ask that if anyone is able to stay for about 10 minutes or less and help wipe down the pews, we will provide you with the gloves and towels and please meet by the back counters, but please be mindful of the physical distancing. Mahalo Noilua for your help with this. Now let us all recite the stewardship prayer, which is found on the back cover of your worship aid. Generous, Generous and, and loving creator, creator, you, you have, have called, called us to, to treasure, treasure our gifts. gifts. Thank, Thank you, you for the, the abundance, abundance you have bestowed on us, your servant people of St. Teresa Parish. As disciples of your Son, we ask that the Holy Spirit open our minds and hearts to deeply appreciate your countless blessings. May we use these gifts to build your kingdom here, especially in South Maui, to help the poor share the good news and to bear witness to the love of God in our hearts. For rooted in Jesus, we love and serve others. With the help of St. Teresa, St. Damien, and St. Marion, teach us to be good stewards so that we may return a hundredfold our gifts of time, talent, and treasure. We pray that one day we might dwell with you forever. Amen. And the Lord is with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. And on this solemn feast, celebrating the gift of God, the gift of himself, we pray that the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit may Amen. come upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We are finished with our prayer of thanksgiving together here, uh, and we again ask if you can stay for some help. But otherwise, let us remember that we leave the church and we go out into the world around us, that we carry, the, we are the body of Christ. Let us go to love and serve the Lord and one another. Amen. Thanks be to God. are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy, no dance in the forest, no play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Praise for the sun, the bringer of day, he carries the light of the Lord in the moon and the stars, the light of the way unto your throne. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and no creation is shouting for joy. No dance in the forest, play in the field, and sing. Go to 
the trees, the sea's mighty storm, the gents go live please, they blow where they will, they blow where they please, to please the Lord. See? Yeah. 